the red arrows lit up Edinburgh as they flew over the Royal Mile to mark King Charles III's coronation. The famous flying group, Britain's premier aerial display team, were flying over Scotland's capital as the king was crowned for a second time. Their appearance of the pinnacle of a flypast involving over 60 aircraft from the Royal Air Force, Royal Navy, and British Army. It follows on from the armed forces most recent flypast last month to mark the king's first trooping the colour where 70 aircraft took to the skies. Scottish coronation crown may never sit on King Charles' head, latest. The flypast was watched by the king and queen alongside other senior royals as they stood in the palace of Holyrood House, the official royal residence in Scotland. The flypast followed the royal procession through Edinburgh and a service at the St Giles Cathedral where King Charles was presented with the honours of Scotland. The purpose of the king's second coronation is a formal recognition of him as the king in Scotland as well as England. Ahead of the service, Alistair Jack, Secretary of State for Scotland, said the service would be an uplifting and fitting celebration of the new monarch. Mr Jack said, the service in St Giles will be an uplifting and fitting celebration of our new king and queen, and will reflect the great affection we Scots have for them. I know that thousands of Scots will line the streets of Edinburgh to pay tribute to the king and welcome the royal family, once again, to Scotland. Although thousands of people line the streets to welcome King Charles, Queen Camilla, and other senior royals, not everyone thought they were welcome. Anti-monarchy group Republic turned out in force. Around 300 protesters were expected to line the route with signs saying, Not my king. Don't miss. Meghan Markle determined to prove haters wrong and fight way back to the top. Report, by George, Charlotte and Louis are missing from Charles' Scottish coronation, Insight, Camilla wears towering white stilettos for Scotland's celebrations, Report, former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmon, now leader of the Alba Party, added, This ceremony is entirely wrong-headed and neither fish nor fowl. It will end up satisfying no one and has sketchy historical legitimacy. Furthermore, the director of the Center for the Study of Modern Monarchy, Professor Anne Whitelock said the event was an imitation coronation. She told the BBC, it is, a poor man's reenactment, where no one actually gets to wear the crown. You're kind of shadow boxing with the past. There is also controversy over who is footing the bill for the cost of the event, particularly during a cost of living crisis. The Scottish government has reportedly confirmed that it will pay for costs associated with the event, including £22,000 for a specially made ceremonial sword. Critics have been scathing about the cost of the event. Scottish Greens co-leader Patrick Harvey told The National, We are still in the worst cost of living crisis for decades, yet we are about to witness another absurd royal event of pomp and pageantry at the cost of hundreds of thousands of pounds. In the past 18 months, we have seen an extraordinary amount of public funds spent on royal events, from the jubilee to the coronation. Tens of millions squandered when so many are struggling to feed their families.
Oh, 